Hello investors, welcome back to Technical Analysis with Lennox. As you might already know, my name is Lennox Ngobeni. If you didn't know, it means you're new to the channel. So please kindly hit that subscribe button. And to you, my returning subscribers, please like the video, leave your thoughts in the comment section and share the video with um, your friends and family and just anyone around you. But um, on today's video, we'll be looking at Murray and Roberts. And before I tell you guys why I'm bullish on the stock, because you might have already seen in the title of this video that I am bullish on this stock. But um, let's first assess the risks that are involved in holding uh, this stock. Because I know most of the time, as investors, we tend to focus more on the brighter side of things. And we tend to forget the risk that is involved in investing. And on today's video, I'll uh, just take you through on the potential downside of this stock. I don't want you guys to go into the market blindly because I am bullish and you go bullish based on that. Also, remember to do your own research and remember that this is not financial advice. It's just a mere opinion from a technical analysis point of view, right? And if you are looking at this chart here, there's this gray area here. So this gray area here, it can potentially create um, a head and shoulder, even though uh the chances of that happening might be a little bit slim but nothing is impossible with financial markets we can see this stock creating uh, a head and shoulder from this level here and this can push markets to so you'd have your neckline at about 7.76 rents per share on murray and roberts and this stock can uh Go below this low here and test this um, this all-time low on the stock here. Let me just go to my monthly time frame. So we have um, a somewhat, somewhat of a lower low at around 6 rands and 33 cents. And if this happens, this would be a drawback of approximately... 3%. So if you are taking a position on this stock, just be mindful that there is this potential risk that you might have to stomach. And if you're not strong enough for this thing here or this uh, kind of risk here, please stay away from this stock here because like I said, it's not so volatile and we haven't really had much movement on the stock for quite some time here. It's been playing on this, um, on this zone here from... Um, six rands going to a high of 18 rands and coming back and just like that so it's also important to study the nature of the stock and also the nature of the company that you're investing in make sure you understand you fully understand what you're getting yourself into so don't go bullish on the stock because i am bullish right now i'm showing you the risks that is involved in holding this stock here so just be mindful and just be prepared of this potential drawback on the stock right now let's focus on the uh, brighter side of things i know that's what you're here for when i'm looking at this stock here it has tested this low here that i marked in gray so this uh, uh huge rectangle here uh that's marked in gray so this is uh this is an all-time support right meaning that the stock is still trading at its lowest low right so that's one thing for me right and when i'm looking at this uh, market structure here this this uh, looks like a, a nice base nice market structure base here which might just uh, create a huge head and shoulder here we can have a left shoulder here we can uh, this could potentially be a hit and just like I said, there's a possibility that this stock can go back to seven rents and even lower to about six rents. And if that happens, this stock might just create a right shoulder here. And uh, I'm quite optimistic that if this happens, markets will, will likely to reject at this level here and this stock will continue going up. And the first target on the stock right first target on the stock personally i have my buy zone at around nine rents going into 10 rents so if this stock hits my first buy zone i'll be sitting at uh, 
floating profit of approximately 90% going into a beggar, and it can push to about 100% because uh, this resistance can push, the range can push to about this level here. And this level here, if I mark it, let's see what the level is. It's actually 20 rents per share on Murray and Roberts. That would be my, actually my first target, bearing in mind that this dog can still go to uh, six rents. That, that wouldn't be for rain. For me, it is a possibility. It is a possible uh, reality on the stock. But otherwise, that would be my analysis on Murray and Roberts. I am bullish on the stock. And we can, of course, zoom into the smaller time frames if you're looking at this here we have uh, this trend here that market has recently broken out of and if you've been following me for quite some time you'd know that um, i don't really take uh, this trend breakout so seriously i use i use crucial levels in most cases to make my decisions from a technical analysis point of view but um for many this is um this is a bullish sign here this is our breakout point it's about 11.48 uh rents per share and so this is our breakout zone here and for many this is a bullish sign and if um the stock does not reject here it might just uh, continue to go test this level of 13 rands per share and this can happen in a matter of, uh, of weeks uh, or even days this uh, is likely to happen and that will happen if we don't get a rejection at at this uh, level of, of uh, let's just call it 12 friends per share and that'll be my analysis for today remember to like the video comment and if you haven't subscribed i mean what are you waiting for if you're watching this channel it means that you are finding value in the in the content so you might as well subscribe and turn on that notification bell otherwise let's, let's meet again next week same place same time i'm out of here